One thing about these is jackets can run you up some big dollars out of your Yo, pockets, right? Hey, 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 what the fuck is this? So you might be limited in picking out what sort of jackets to start your collection. So we're gonna go through all the types of jackets you got out there and I'll be ranking these bitches from D to S tier. Now I do gotta say though, inevitably in all these type of opinion type of videos, right? I just can't wait for the salt in the comments because I ranked one of your favorite jackets poorly. And you know what? This ain't one of those soft family friendly channels where I'm gonna say some shit like, oh please, guys it's just my opinion guys please don't get mad at me no nigga i'm spinning facts here so if you don't agree anyway let's get to the ranking and first up on this list is going to be our tiktok favorite the racer jacket now these are pretty loud statement piece of a jacket like this is a type of jacket that might be stepping out from your usual day-to-day -day wear so i know a lot of you conservative guys right a lot of you boys this is the type of shit that takes some real hype from your homeboys right like the kind of support goku be getting goku you've got this fight Win! Let that nigga know! Even though you guys might say this is a little more on the trendy side, I still think these racer jackets are a really dope piece to have in your wardrobe. I know they're not very versatile, so I will knock off a bit of points for that one, right? If I could be honest, I want to put these bitches in S tier, right? But let's be honest here. This is probably like a B tier. Let's put this in B tier. Now, following up on racer jackets, and mostly because even though I know some racer jackets are made from leather, I kind of wanted to separate them and put leather jackets in their own category. Now, not to be glazing, but quite frankly, if you ask me, the leather jacket is timeless. Like this is such a mature and versatile style of jacket that just puts in the work. Like this type of jacket will go nicely in a casual, more toned down street type of look, right? But also this jacket's gonna turn around and give you a 20 triple point double when you need something for like a classy, refined sort of look. I think most people get a little put off when someone initially says leather jacket, right? Because the first thing that kind of comes to your mind are these bitches right here. i to be honest with you, I, I'm kind of retarded. Now specifically, this is a leather biker jacket, right? And I don't blame you if you don't want to be seen in a 5K radius in this bitch. So I just had to clarify, right? When I say leather jacket here, I'm not including that biker jacket type shit. So leather jacket gets an S tier for me. This shit is goaded. Now next up, we got the varsity jacket. And I'll be honest, if you had asked me to make this tier list when I was a little younger, this would have probably ranked a lot higher than what I'm about to give it now. But I do want to say for the right person, this definitely is a dope solid jacket, right? It has that collegiate, like I'm that boy type of look, right? But I'm I'm gonna be real, I just, I'm just not really into it that much and I think it's really overplayed. It is a staple and it's always gonna be a swaggy sort of jacket, right? I will admit, but for me personally, let's put this bitch in B tier. Now we got an interesting one up next with the blazer jacket, a cool piece of menswear fashion. This is definitely something that gets more appealing the older you get, or maybe just depending on the type of social situations and events you find yourself in. Cause I know a lot of you younger guys are already, right? You're probably looking at this and you're like, okay, where's the timestamp bro? Let's skip this shit. But please hold on for a minute, right? I'm about to put you on some game here. So you guys gotta realize, right, a big thing these shorties out here loving a man is confidence and maturity. Like, there's a reason why the 17-year-old Zoe in science class would rather give some play to that 23-year-old outside of school than your crusty ass. Not that 23-year-olds are much better in terms of maturity, right, but maybe it's just because older men with experience don't really pedestalize women and they know how to keep them on their toes. kill you. But anyway, the blazer is a key sign of maturity in the fact that it symbolizes adult masculinity. Like, ladies love a man who can dress to the occasion. And not to say these bitches don't appreciate a swaggy dude who's flying, like, onto the trendy sort of stuff, right? But you need some range in your fashion. You can definitely get away without having a blazer jacket while you're younger, and maybe even low-key when you're older, depending on the scenes you're at. But I think this is a style of jacket that just adds bonus points to you. Like, you're the type of guy that takes pride in your appearance, and you kind of understand the importance of a strong personal image. Saying all of that, I'm gonna put the blazer jacket in A. Tier. Let's talk about denim jackets next. And I think I may have bagged these in one of my older videos. And if I did, it was probably more in the context of describing how kind of, you know, stock standard of a choice this might be when compared to your louder kind of jackets. But don't let that fool you in forgetting the fact that denim is always gonna be timeless. And hell, Levi's have been making bags of the same line of clothing for decades, right? So come on, you, denim is just a nice material. The denim jacket is a classic style of jacket in menswear. And while my love for it might wane here and there, right? Like I always think it's gonna be something I play around with no matter what point in my fashion 
journey I am. So I'm gonna put denim jacket in S tier for the culture. Next up is the bomber jacket. I need to say, right, if we're talking about this type of bomber jacket, D tier, instant D tier. But anything else particularly, I'm not gonna put a concrete rating, mainly because I feel like bomber jackets, it's more like a, it more so describes a style of jacket that's like cropped or has like a ribbed collar, waistband, like it's, it's kind of like a generic term, I feel like. You could have like a bomber varsity jacket or like a bomber leather jacket, like, let's let's just, we're not gonna rate this. Okay, next up, we got the zip up hoodie. And I hope some of you don't get mad I included this in the jacket section, because these go way too hard not to include, right? But come on, zip up hoodies outside of the whole rhinestone TikTok era, like I feel like they are a nice, nice kind of jacket, right? Mostly because of the comfort and laid back nature. You just get so much more room to play around with like layering and color blocking. And come on, these bitches are hot. Let's put this in A tier. The good old puffer jacket. Now this one used to be a favorite of mine early on, right? And I've definitely noticed a strong split of popularity with this style of jacket over the past couple years. Come on, a North Face puffer with slim fit blue jeans is pretty much the standard of normie winter fashion here in Australia. I'm gonna put the puffer jacket in A tier. Now next up, let's talk about outdoors jackets. Like, you know, windbreakers, like those rain jackets, those gorp core style jackets, the Patagonias, you know exactly what I'm talking about here. And while I do generally think this is a cool style of jacket and outside of the whole superficial looks there's a huge amount of functionality in the weather protection and the utility so we gotta give bonus points for that right but come on with these outdoor style of jackets i really think they sit somewhere in between a or b tier right so some of you guys might say a tier some of you guys might say b tier and i won't judge you either way me personally i'm gonna say b tier next let's talk about the tracksuit jacket and this one is a personal favorite of mine especially because i really fuck with the whole retro sports type of look and these just speak to me on such a personal level i really think that this type of jacket shines at its best when it's paired with a respective match matching tracksuit pants for that cool laid back street type of look. But I will admit it's not a look everyone can pull off, right? So I'm gonna put tracksuit jacket in B tier. Next up is the fleece jacket. And I can't lie, outside of maybe that stussy eight ball fleece that went off for a little while, like I don't really be seeing many people rock this style of jacket. And come on, I won't lie, it's a bit disappointing because I feel like the fleece jacket is such a nice style of jacket to wear. You guys know I'm already a huge fanboy when it comes to switching up the textures in your outfits. It just adds another interesting element to your overall look. And plus fleece in particular be so comfy cozy now come on it is a little more restricting and making your outfit a bit more casual but you know that's always not really a bad thing so i'm about fleece jacket in b tier though now yeah my guys that's gonna be the whole video right uh shout out my discord boys i got sadid up in here too high one of the high rank members in the discord so i'll drop a link in the description you guys let me know what you think in the comments too about the ranking right i'm all down for the criticism my guys you know how we do it here but i'll see you guys next video